Hey guys, what's up? Hey. It's Wednesday, my dudes, and uh, it's another episode of Fangirls Assemble. We did it. We're, We're here. here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love how someone, who was it? Candace? Is that her name? Yeah. Last, last show was like, wait, there's a show Wednesday. There is, guys. And we're here, and it's a Wednesday, and we had to make up a show. So we're here. Yeah, basically, we do at least four shows a month, and we either are here on Sunday or Wednesday. We both kind of have hectic work schedules from time to time, and so that means either we choose a Sunday or Wednesday, and sometimes we don't know until the day of. Yep, so... Are. So we appreciate you uh, specifically, Jesse. Say what in the chat? What's up? We're glad you're here. I didn't tweet about it. I totally forgot. <laughs> I basically got in the door from work. I was like, I gotta get in here. So yep. you know, before we start, what we're talking about today is Harrow County Library Edition Volume One. We're also gonna have a library hall. We're, we both have one. We'll, yeah. we'll check that out later. Um, so stick around if you don't care about maybe Harrow County, but if you do care about Harrow County, which you should. Uh, IST, InStockTrades.com, our great sponsor. That's where I got my book. I don't know about you. I mean, packaged perfectly. Uh, shipping in the United States, $50 or more gets you free shipping. Otherwise, it's a flat rate of $4, which is nothing compared to everywhere else, especially, um, I mean, you know what? Heavy-ass books. <sighs> heavy books. I haven't gotten a legit, like, too many books book call <laughs> until... I literally before I sat down, I heard UPS guy pop a big box of books on my porch. What's great about that, and the reason I bring it up, it was like a 14-pound box or something crazy. Um, and, you know, everywhere else, you would pay an arm and a leg. I not only got free shipping, if it's <clears> over a certain, like, weight limit, I've noticed, you can bump up to a UPS ground upgrade. So it came in one day after it shipped. Oh, my gosh. And that's Is that not, guys. like, the sexiest thing you can <sighs> hear? You know? People, people talk about you know what? What does you, you read these Cosmo articles and they're like, what? What say to your girl, right? <laughs> but what she really wants to hear is, hey, free shipping. I see you. I see you ordered a lot of heavy books. <laughs> yeah. I only want to make that <laughs> shipping free. I'm gonna bump you up to the quicker shipping. Yeah, for free. It was amazing. So it's like trades. Your girl before you propose. That's definitely what you do. And you know, if you know someone getting married, maybe get them some IST books. Seems like a good idea. Maybe. That's that's what I ask for for Christmas. You know, that's all I want, guys. Just more Listen, books. Guys. Specifically, I give them links to in stock trades because I'm like, you're gonna get them in good condition. Don't go to Amazon. Stop uh, it. You're gonna get your books all messed up. We all know from experience. I still wish I could get away with job. putting in stock trades gift cards or books on my wedding registry, but I am gonna bring that up for like my my friend only wedding celebration. Be like, hey guys, I mean, I'm just saying. I was gonna say, you need to make a list and then just give it to me because I would love to get you, uh, you both a book. Oh. Do you have a joint book you want? You should think about that. Do you have any joint books you're like, oh, we both need this. Oh man. It's hard they because make I, a list of I like, just buy all the Buffy books and they come out. Yeah. Probably something <laughs> Green Arrow related. It's funny because I think about that with like Reed and I, and I'm like, I want way more books than he does. <laughs> like, oh, same. By a lot. Absolutely. Which is funny because the group, the Omnibus Collectors Group, were probably everyone watching at SRN. <laughs> like every other post is like, oh, my wife is going to get mad if they. And I'm like, one, tell your wife what you're spending. Okay, but two, <laughs> guys, this should be mutual love because that's how my marriage works. Oh, I get yeah. all the books, and then Reed's like, those are cool books. And I'm like, great. This is why it works out. Mm hmm You know? Yeah, get just up by this. I'm like, hey, listen. I know you had a hard day. Yeah. Want to go to the comic book store? Like, yes. You need an enabler for your hobbies. Yeah, that's you and need. that's, you know, dangerous. Because, yeah, my, my yeah. fiance is always like, what do you need money for? You can't take it with you. <laughs> Yeah, Reading is the same thing. I'm like, hey, Reed, do I need these four books for like absolutely no reason when I have 107 to read? And he's like, absolutely. And I'm like, you're terrible at this. I shouldn't feel this way. <laughs> but it's great. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's talk Carroll County. Number one, I uh, like, I, it, today was really busy. So like, I'm glad we only had one to review today. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I really wanted to immediately read more. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's 
the rest of them are in that box um, outside that I'm going oh, to yeah? get. <gasps> yeah, because I needed Ooh. it. I just knew. I knew it was one of those things. One, we'll just spoil it right now. We don't have yeah. to spoil it. Well, we can, uh. I'm going to spoil how I feel about it because I loved it. I loved it so much. This is uh, volume one. This is just the slip cover, which, by the way, so soft. I think it's we talked right. about this. It's not only soft. Here's the actual book. The book is it's, also soft. It's also soft, which is horrible for fingerprints. So, like, the back cover, which is also great. Yeah, and the oh, art, I mean, bad, immediately. But... Oh. Beautiful. The minute Time I took my dust jacket off to take it to work, I was like, oh, man. Can't I do that. <laughs> but you also can't read this in the middle of everyone, can you? Well, yeah. So, if you don't know, it's a horror comic. It's quite bloody. Uh, I know a lot of people have read it and loved it. Uh, Cullen Bunn wrote wrote it. This beautiful, gorgeous art is from Tyler Crook, which I believe is, uh, it has to be, like, watercolors, right? That's what uh, it looks like to gorgeous. me. gorgeous. And it looks beautiful. <laughs> oh, here's, it's bloody, okay, guys. Watch out. Oh, no, you both loved it. <laughs> now, <Now-king, what? laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Cullen Bunn. Yeah, yeah, though, I mean, like, well, number one. Well, what's great? My yeah. editions are always great. But yeah, we've only read one. Is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Uh, it's so great. Uh, maybe we should get into the story. So it is about the small town, like farm country, little county, Harrow County. Mm-hmm. Guys, spoiler: Harrow County is a county in here. Um, <laughs> and it starts out with this witch being burned at the stake. Yeah. And you figure out later. Which should we should we go into super spoilers or how do we want to talk um, about? It? Because people, it is just the first one, and we do want people to read it. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it. Well, I mean, it's just the first one. Yeah. And you find out pretty quickly. Anyway, so... You, you do find out that part quickly. Yeah, you, that's true. Spoiler alert really quickly. If you're worried, you can come back in, like, 20 minutes from now. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, there's... You see this county, and it, it starts um, with this witch being burned. Um, basically, it's your typical, like weird woman in town. The town people don't like what she does. She obviously has some powers, right? And they, that leads them to be scared of her and try to kill her. And apparently that was burning her was like not the first time way they tried, right? Guns and hanging and finally fire. And when she dies, she's like, I will see you again and I will return, right? Typical. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, then we, do. and then we're introduced to the main character in the pre- and what is their present day, obviously not our present day, Oh man, I already forgot her name. Um, Emmy? I think, yeah. Emmy? Emmy. Yeah, okay. Um, who is a 17 year old girl, almost turning 18. And she's noticing some weird things, weird dreams and stuff. Um, and then <clears throat> basically, she starts to learn that she may be this like reincarnation of this witch. Um, and she kind of hears this around because she kind of hears murmurs of it around town and kind of runs into some creepy creatures, what have you. And she's ended up being warned, like, hey, they decide they're going to kill you. Because, you know, you're turning 18 soon. They, this, they think that you're the witch and they you know, they killed the witch before and they're going to kill you. And so she runs away. Um, and eventually things kind of work out for her. But, you know, she has to find a way to uh, work with these kind of her, her new powers and these spirits and, and kind of work with herself and eventually be like, she's almost kind of Sabrina-esque in a way only because she's like, I don't want to hurt people. These are my powers. Sure. But I'm, I'm not this person. I'm not my, my mother. I'm not this witch just because I have these abilities doesn't mean this is going to go the same way it did. Um, and of course we only read the first volume of this library edition, which is volumes one and two, uh, the trade paperbacks. But, um, it looks like that's, that'll be the, the main premise is kind of like her connecting and dealing with what these powers are. And this like, is in this like small rural community. Um, and I'm really excited to see what else is going to happen. And that was the quickest summary I could give without giving everything away. Oh, it's perfect. Um, I like how Larry said, wait, Kristen likes dust jackets now. I don't. I just think this is very soft and it is nice for a dust jacket. It's a nice dust, ja- yeah. dust jacket. I think That's some of these dust jackets are way too shiny. I think that bothers yeah. me. Yeah, I agree. But I, I like it's this nice, one. Like, yeah, it's nice. Uh, how, what do you want to call it? Like I don't know. It's it's and it's soft. I like that. <laughs> you know how we feel about things that are soft and feel nice against your face. Also, when you have all of the um, spines against each other, this tree makes like a big tree. Oh, that's beautiful. Guys, 
Um, so Joe says Very it is good. watercolor. And that Tyler Kirk has some awesome videos mm-hmm. showing his watercolor process for this book. Oh, that's awesome. I should look that up now. Uh, which I'm, I'm already, itself. I don't think I've read anything with his art in it before, but I'm a diehard fan now. Oh, yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, speaking of the books itself, there's just tons of back matter in here. So if you're really into that, like with limited edition library edition kind of things, um, which by the way, speaking of limited edition, they're not. Uh, <laughs> they're keeping them in print. They're being good about it for a while. Um, I think the last two volumes or so, everyone thought was like out of print, mm-hmm. um, but they were out of stock for a bit. Now they're all back. They're all back on IST specifically. Um, that's where I got mine. So that's where you're going to get the best deal. Um, but there's a big sketchbook in the back of Tyler's art, which is cool if you like the process pictures and stuff like that, and that's really neat. Um, there's also like some essays toward the back, um, and of course the covers, mm-hmm. which were all great too. So beautiful. Um, and then there's like, okay, let's talk about the tree in the story. And then Cullen talks about the tree and the ghost. And I mean, just really cool stuff. So if you enjoy the bonus features of like hard covers like this, there's tons of it. And again, look at this that cover. Cool. It's so good. I love it. So good. For my dad watching this later, uh, you're going to want these 100%. Is my <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pick these up. I mean, no question. I'm, I'm, you can go ahead and read um, several of the, the, the volumes on Comixology Unlimited. Mm hmm. Um, so I, I will recommend that. I couldn't read this. I didn't have time to like go to, usually if I'm reading at work, I go to a coffee shop at lunch and I read a book. Um, but I don't read comics at my desk because I don't want people to know. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> or, how it is. Or, you know, I don't look busy, right? And so I read on Comixology at work instead of re- reading my beautiful library edition book, which is <laughs> fine. Um, but uh, it was still this is impactful digitally. So we recommend. We'll definitely need to read the rest, and we'll we'll oh. talk about the whole thing overall. Um, For sure. And I know they're coming out with right now. I think it's Tales of Harrow County. There were some one-page tales toward the end. I don't know if that's the same thing, because they're continuing. I don't know if they're continuing the story or just making mm-hmm. more set in the same county. I don't know what's happening. Someone in the chat will probably be like, "Hey, this is what's happening, you idiot!" And I'll be like, "Cool." <laughs> I trust but, Joe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Joe knows. Joe can tell us. <laughs> Hopefully, but yeah, uh, I'm already I'm already a big fan. I think this is gonna be. If you guys haven't picked it up, it's the time. You know, we love library editions. The price point is perfect. What was this like? List price is forty, so you what can get for like twenty three or something. Yeah, I mean, come on now. And you know, I really think I I read a few Cullen things now, and I really you can tell that he he really has a knack for writing dialogue and characters in this setting in like a southern kind of rural Mm. setting he definitely has a talent for i think you know as two people that are in kentucky i feel like we we know a a couple things we know how people talk (laughs) (laughs) um so i i i really i just think he does very well with this and i i uh, i really like it this is my type of horror for sure it's that kind of slow burn that I really like. And I, I love horror in rural areas too. Like the setting is nice. I really like the main character. Emmy's really great. And I really like seeing these different like beasts and spirits and like things that she interacts with. It almost makes me think of like something like Ancient Magus Bride or like a, like a Ghibli movie, but if it was horror. Oh, I can totally oh. see the Ghibli thing, yeah. It's like um, that kind of level of detail and characterization. I love that skinless I was going to say, boy. why do I care so much about the skinless boy? Like, I love him. I love him so much. Uh, I don't want to get too into details about who he is and stuff. Um, you just need to read it. But And, the, and here's some more gorgeous spreads that he has. I just love it. It's these. incredible. Uh, but you know who else I loved? I can't think of if they even had a name, did they have a name for him? This guy, this creature guy. guy. I love this I don't guy. Know if he did. I really liked him too. I loved him. <laughs> I love the way he talked. Yeah. I think that was, yeah. Cullen's like really funny. good at having a specific dialogue for everyone. Yeah. And the way they, t- I love that. Yeah. He's really funny. <laughs> I also like the little creature she talked to that was in the attic. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. Cause she's like, she was like really sweet to it. And, uh, 
I'm like, it's a horror book. It was so sweet. <laughs> it kind of was. Um, <clears throat> Callum's dialogue is always good, even when the story isn't at 100. Venom, the fearless, fearless defenders and as guardians of the galaxy are some of my favorites by him. I didn't realize he did as guardians of the galaxy. I think I've only ever read his kind of like, I haven't read much by him, but like, I've only read kind of shorter one-off stories. Because I've read, I had another story I read by him, Blood Feud. Loved that. That's another horror. Is it by, is that Oni Prowse? I can't see. I think it's Oni. Um, that's another like Southern horror. It's like present time um, in a rural area. And I think there's like vampires. I can't remember all of it, but I really like the dialogue. I was like, this guy gets it. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like the South. <laughs> I say, as if I'm proud of being in the South. Sometimes. Yeah, it depends. It depends. <laughs> Some things weren't great, but you know. You know. But yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure what else to say about it other than I love the first I, Everyone should check it out. And I, no. we are saying that preemptively. We've only read the library edition in volume one. Mm -hmm. um, so we will be reading the rest. And I guess we'll tune in and do another review sometime. Am I watching another live about a book I don't know a thing about just because it's fangirls? Oh, Hayden. <laughs> oh, Hayden. You. Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, do we just want to jump into the library halls or? Yeah, I have a ton. I haven't read any of them yet. So this was to be telling you guys what I picked up and we could do a little reveal of it later. Perfect. You can start while I go and grab them. Okay. Let me, let me move them over here, guys. Let me try to scoot past my pug. Although, floor. I feel like I, there's some things I'm, I'm not going to talk about until you're back. Okay. <laughs> Just like, fine. <laughs> oh, you're back now. All right. <laughs> no, I've got another file. I, I went to the library. I love it. And I saw, like, they had, like, your name on there, like, on the little, like, bookshelf to pick it up. And I saw, like, four books. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I thought I had more. This is fine. And then we look down and I see this whole basket of books with my name on it. It's happened like, to me. I know exactly the feeling. Oh, no. <laughs> and I took it out and I'm like, I'm a 28-year-old woman, right? And <laughs> it's just a bunch of like, a lot of times library for me, it's like young adult graphic novels. Because mm -hmm. I usually check those out and then decide I want to buy them later versus like my impulse buying of big two. Absolutely, yeah. And so I always feel like, a little embarrassed, even though I'm I am such a big like, uh, what's the word? I'm a big supporter of young adult graphic novels, especially in all ages. I think they can be enjoyed by all. I think like, even kids' you know? graphic novels. I mean, everything. Like same. I mean, think about Ernesto. Or oh Bruce. yeah, Peter Ernesto. Peter Ernesto yeah. Oh, they're so good. Um, and First Second does a lot of great like kids' graphic novels. It's funny you say that you had a big old stack because I actually uh, didn't grab everything. Some stuff I got wasn't graphic novels, so I left those away. But some of them were, and I totally just forgot I had them. So I do have more than this um, elsewhere. And they were you know, like kids' graphic novels, because I love those. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, yeah, you have way more than me, so I'll start. <laughs> Although, again, ultimately, I have them spread around the house. Uh, but I got volume two of the friendly neighborhood spider-man this is by tom taylor who we love from uh x23 mm -hmm. uh the all new wolverine rather not x23 um but yeah he was great i read the first volume i really enjoyed it so i'm gonna read the second one now and i'm getting him from the library because that's free uh pick this up just because i like the cover Ooh, and I flipped through it. I've been seeing that cover forever. Let me know if that's good. I will. It's called The Hard Tomorrow. Guys, I can't tell you what this is about. I don't know. Sometimes I just pick things up. And well, I'm like, and I don't know what I've you're seen, about. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I see these kind of circulated. Somebody's posting them out on Twitter or like I see in upcoming releases. And I think it looks interesting. But I don't have to jump in like to buy it. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go library. Let's, let's check this out. And sometimes it's the best decision you can make. Yeah, I'm trying to find. You end up find finding it. someone. There's not even a good, like, I don't know. A lot of uh, people that are good blurped it on the back. Well, then I trust them. You know, bleak, crumbling America. All right. That's us right now, right? Okay. 
<laughs> the Okay Witch, which is a oh, juvenile graphic novel. That, that looks adorable. Um, yeah, apparently she's just like a witch, but she's just okay at it, so she's not great at it. Hey, you know what? I, I identify with that. Not the witch part, but just being okay. Oh, yeah, totally. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, you know, the kids' graphic novels, I love flying through these, and they're so fun, and they make me wish I had all of these like when I was a kid. Look at this little cat. So I'm looking forward to this one. I've heard really good things from other people who've read it. It looks so. good. The Okay Witch. Oh, guys. Heartstopper Volume 3. I have been so excited for this. Maddie, you have to read it. There's it three volumes really now. Three volumes now. They're Let me just check chunky. if my library has it while you keep talking about it. If they don't, make them buy it because I made them I'm in my library buy these and I'm so excited. So it's about these two boys, of course. They're holding hands on the cover. You know, they're in high school and they fall in love. And it's just really, I mean, they're both great characters. They're super sweet. It's black and white, really cute art. It's a young adult graphic novel. It's it just, it's such a good time. And I loved it so much. And I'm so excited for part three. In fact, this is a, I think it's a web comic. So you could read it right now, probably, if you really wanted to. But loved it. So excited. We've talked about this. Go with the flow. Yes, I did put in a request for that at the library because I'm dying to read it. I'm so excited for this. Um, let's see. I, re I read this before, but I can't remember what exactly happens. I think the girls are just mad that the sports teams get all the money. For right. like, um, if I remember right, let's see. Sick of administration <laughs> that puts football before female health. The girls confront a world that shrugs or worse squirms at the thought of administration revolution. They band together and make a change. So uh, it's for a second, guys. It sounds like Angel interesting world. and different. Yeah. And I love the art. I love this like cartoony style art. Uh, I'm excited. I think this is going to be good. Plus, it's a topic that, I mean, that's so true. Rarely talked about definitely not talked about in comics no this is gonna be great i'm excited i don't know if you've read this i know you know what it is i got the first two volumes of card capture sakura man those look beautiful by the way yeah, i these have like read fancy fancy sakura, edition but i have them. watched it okay do you like it oh yeah i like this little guy i literally picked it up and was like this little guy <laughs> oh man to. i'm so excited for you because like big anime fans like this is like a rite of passage. That's Have what you I read hear. any clamp? Is this your first clamp book? Yeah, and I've heard Ooh. I've heard of clamp stuff forever. So I was just like, okay, there's two volumes at my library. They're like these nice. I'm editions. really excited for you. So a I lot of clamp series, clamp. they're great because there's a lot of depth to them. Surprisingly, there's a lot in there. It's like, is it a group of women writers? Like it's a group of writers, right? Yeah. And actually, what's really funny, um, before they got into doing manga, and like before Clamp became Clamp, really, and they had Chobits and Sakura and, you know, Wish and whatever, um, they they got their start as like a do, doujinshi company. So they did like fan made books and art for other series. And they were JoJo's fans. <laughs> so they did doujin for JoJo. That's fun. Which is in such stark contrast, right, to like to what yeah. <laughs> very flowery image. I mean, well, Tina's gonna be so pumped that you're reading Clamp. Maybe I should uh, also read that for the show. Oh yeah, we were do. talking about that'd be fun. I think that's great because that, that would be a good. That's a quick enough read, and so we could do like a sh like a shojo oriented, make it a shojo oriented something. Episode. Yeah, maybe maybe we can do like a lot of volume ones or something. So we're not like. Ooh, I like that. Running through like a anyway, we'll talk about it later. I can those in like coming show guys. Oh yeah, we'll yeah. tell you at the end. But we've got we, we actually got planned the we entire got... month of March. <laughs> surprise, surprise! It's happening. And I'm gonna put it in my calendar so we don't forget. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, lot... <laughs> Hayden said, "I'm not saying card capture soccer made me queer, but it blesses oh. my queer." So preach. Love that. Love to hear. It's that. very gay. Especially her best yeah. friend is just like, I just really like taking pictures of you and putting you in outfits. Mm, okay. okay. <laughs> and her, bro her brother's like wicked gay. Love it already. I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, the last thing I got was Little Bird. Ooh, I'm, I'm behind another on cover. But I hear, yeah, the beautiful cover. That I've wanted to look at. Beautiful hardcover. Uh, the art looks great. So, you know, I keep hearing good things about this. 
and I wanted to check it out. And that's what I got. I got other things, again, scattered throughout my house, but I'll holler at you if I got anything you picked up. <laughs> All right. So I picked up five million things. Yeah. Um, that's I want the way to, to do the know if, I, if you've read these and they're good. Okay. Like usual, I always go into this thinking I'm going to do a library haul video. Um, and I've been successful two out of three times so far. <laughs> so hopefully this is one that makes it in. And every um, video you've done, I've been like, I've read that. I loved it. I've read that. I loved it. It's great. Well, yeah. Most of it's like from your suggestions. Um, I picked up Diana, Princess of the Amazons. It's it's part of um, the new DC Kids line. Um, even though as a whole, I'm very upset with DC. <laughs> I think they're doing a good job with their like young adult and kids lines. Which I don't mean to spoil what I'm going to talk about this weekend, but I read Shadow of a Batgirl or of the oh, yeah. Batgirl. Oh my gosh. Cause it's a, oh, it, was good. So, it was so good. Okay, I loved good. it so much. I'm so glad to hear <laughs> Boy, that. I loved it so he much. He deserves yeah. it, you know. Oh, so good. Speaking of DC Inc., um, I had heard great things about this from well, Tina. Tina said it was boring. But <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of Gabriel Piccolo's art, so I've been wanting to check this out forever. He got really popular online after doing a lot of fan art for Teen Titans, and then when eventually he got brought in to do the artwork for this, and then um, Beast Boy coming out next year, at the end of this year, um, everyone was like super stoked because basically everyone's really associated with him with like Teen Titans. So when he finally got brought to DC, everyone's like, oh my God. And he'll be at C2E2 too. So nice. Um, even though Tina says boring, I'm still going to read it. <laughs> basically, like, I'm still going to read all of DC Inc. and DC Kids stuff regardless. We should still do that show because I would like to read the rest too. I would like to because um, I've read most so far. Um, by your recommendation, I got Pumpkin Heads oh my by gosh. Faith Aaron Hicks. I love it so, so much. It's such a quick read. You should totally read that like soon. Oh, just fly yeah. through it. Yeah. Honestly, work's been so busy that I think I'm, I'm just going to curl into bed with my new sheets that I bought and just read. It's right. such a like sweet, makes you feel good read too. Like I loved it so much. That's what I need. And honestly, like, you know what? One of the reasons I push, you know, kids and young adult and all ages books, um, not that like some of them don't have a lot of depth and, and don't get emotional or dramatic because a lot of them do, you know, um, but also there's a lot of really great, just like feel good stories in there that are still very rich stories, a lot of character development that are worth reading. And I think people kind of gloss over them a lot because they think, oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm in the him. image and dark yeah. horse and, you know, Marvel and DC because I like adult stories or whatever. And that's great. But like, you're missing out. That's the thing. I, it's just a whole other world that like, oh, it's that's so my, different. that's my big thing. I love to utilize my library for it's like, mm -hmm. there's all these books. I'm not going to buy a bajillion kids books when I don't have room for that, yeah. but I will pick them up. Cause it's very likely your library will have a, oh, yeah. a, a lot of first second books. Like mm -hmm. it's great. It's great. Oh yeah. Again, I have five million of these, but I'll try to go. Um, if you enjoy it, will you judge? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I love Tina. Sometimes we like different things. That's okay. Uh, I got Decelerate Blue. Um, we should read that together because I recently bought that for Dirt Cheap. Oh, so. okay. I basically went through first, second's entire library. Perfect. Like release, and I just added all to my library cart. That's great. That's the way uh, to do it. And I saw this cover and I was like, all right. Yeah, of um, course. And the art looks very like almost kind of like 90s-esque like i feel like this is anime fan art i would have made in middle <laughs> school with like the very pointy chins i was like all right i'm in you know that i love the um blue edges too oh yeah oh, beautiful um and by your recommendation Ooh. i picked up all three of the damn yes papers. oh my gosh i love it so much i'm so oh. excited so yes excited. And Omar got excited too because I, um, I, I brought some to have on the table. We talked. We had a library episode. Um, he's like, "Oh, this is about is this like where that short is from? The animated short." Mm -hmm. uh, so he's. I think he'll pick it up soon too. Nice, good. Whew. Everyone should. Um, this looks goofy. I picked it up. Oh, I love. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Cucumber Quest. It's a first second book. I don't know what it's about, but it's great. It's so good. It's a webcomic. 
Yeah, yeah. I've read, there's like three out, I think. I've read all three. They're fantastic. They're funny um, people. It looks very cute and colorful. The art's beautiful. I adore I really that art. I like it. Like, it looks really, almost like kind of Animal Crossing or Steven Universe adjacent. Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, I love the characters. I, I'm waiting for more. I think there's only three out, maybe four. Um, I also read them at my library, and the, it is a webcomic, so if you guys want to read that online, you can. Um, and then I first second, I picked up Golden Age. I have that on hold right now, ready for me to pick <laughs> up in my library. <laughs> uh, one thing, I was very surprised at how, like, well, oversized this is compared to other first second. Nice, beautiful hardcover. Um, I don't even know what it's about, but it looks like it's, like, uh, you know like medieval fantasy. That's the impression I got. Yeah. Um, and the art inside is beautiful. Like look at those colors yeah, nice. and the little added detail and patterns and everything. Um, I'm, I'm big into medieval fantasy stuff. That should come as no surprise to anybody. Um, <laughs> We're gonna have but, to read some of these together. Hold on, I'll make a list as you go. What was the other one, the blue book? What was it called? Oh, um, Decelerate blue. Okay. We're gonna and this do one this. is the golden age. Yep. Um, Perfect. I also picked up Boxers um, by Jean, is it Luen Young? Um, I have that box up so we could read that too. <laughs> Sweet. Boxers and Saints, I think, goes with it. Yes, this is like Chinese historicals. It looks like it's fiction, Chinese historical fiction. Um, also, if any of you have any recommendations for Chinese authors or illustrators or uh, Chinese stories in comic book form, please let me know. Um, it's work related, but I would really like to know. Oh, girl, you got to read Uncomfortably Happily. Do you remember that book that Ooh, I. Yeah. Yeah, it's in a soul, that. I think. I'd really like to get some like uh, Chinese authors over here like fly them in to, to do like a, an event or something oh, i just awesome. need to get enough like knowledge or research put together so i can pitch it so if you guys know anything i have another one um hold on you go ahead okay. <laughs> i'm looking at um, it i picked up this last last pick i've uh, seen that one but i haven't read it yet there's a blurb by jeff lemire on the back oh well now i have to what do you mean, Jeff Lemire? I'm writing it down. <laughs> I don't know what's it about. What it's about. Um, it's on the list. Perfect. I was gonna be about libraries. You just like go through. Um, yeah, it's free. Like, just pick it up. See if you like it. No, yeah, and I think you know, pick a publisher you like, right? And the good thing about libraries, like, pick a publisher you like or an author, and you're like, hey, I really want to check these other things out. But you know, sure, money can be an issue, right? Check out your local library because you're still supporting the industry by going to your library. I know that we've talked about this before, but you know, we've, we've had um, Terry Moore on here and he's talked about his experience going to these library conventions to advertise his books, right? Um, and same with Neil Gaiman, that's part of his success. Cause these big library events like ALA, you know, they, they do bring, like Marvel's there, DC's there, they're there, they're, they're advertising to librarians. Like you're still being supportive by going to your local library and checking these out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes even they don't have stock, they do have interlibrary loan. So they're able to request this from another library or order books like Kristen's talked about before, right? Um, she's gone to her library and has requested books and they've gotten them. Tons. And my local library, like, usually does a good job of ordering books. And like, you know, I, I, I feel like whenever I'm looking for something, like when the, um, What's that comic book award? The Eisners? Yeah, the Eisners. <laughs> um, when several, but yeah. When they announced the Eisner Award nominees, I went on to my library's database and just checked them all out. And most of my comic stores don't even have that kind of stuff in there. And also most comic book stores don't have these books in their stock either. Um, but also there's like Hoopla too. Yeah. Right. And Which that I is utilize a, constantly. That is library associated. Uh, Libby. Um, yeah, all of those right. utilize them, you know, like just because like, yes, money's an issue, but like there's this, 
this isn't a boundary, you know, it's a, it's yeah. a public service. Check it out. That's the thing too. Like, I feel like back. oh yeah, welcome. Yeah. You know, if you haven't read something in over a year, um, I don't know if you've heard of upgrade soul, but 1000% read God. upgrade soul. That book still haunts me. <laughs> like That's the one book we keep recommending. Oh my every God. Time. Like have and you read it, upgrade soul? Truly though, like it is still the book. I've never read anything like it. And it, hurts me like <laughs> it still hurts me yeah sorry about that <laughs> see look <move laughs> over here <laughs> we maybe really not lucky. kentucky but yeah you're not kentucky although my, although, in kentucky. my library is amazing and I, your Same. seat's pretty great too so and we yeah. don't have hoopla but we do have a lot of books Which oh he's good. asking for a short description of it oh Ooh, man, it's, so we, hard, it's so hard. So uh, here's the thing about that. Upgrade Soul, basically, Kristen recommended it to me first. And she said, I want you to read this, but I cannot tell you anything about it. And that's how I pitched it, too. She pitched it to me that way. I said, okay, fine, whatever. I finally checked it out. I was like, oh, my God. This book is really good. And since then, I've taken her advice, too. And when I recommend it, I say, I can't tell you anything about it. It's it's a big leap of trust to just yeah. blindly read something and not have a clue. But one, it's very hard to describe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can, but especially the big twist toward the beginning that I, I which I still see in my head. <laughs> see, even telling you that much is too much. But if you, if you yeah. trust us, try yeah, Upgrade Soul. I couldn't even tell you what other books are like it. Yeah. It I hope I'm not overhyping it that way. It, right. It's the good news is it's just one and done. Like it's yeah. not a, a series. You don't have to spend a lot of time on it. Man, and it so still, good. still sits with me. Uh, yeah. Actually hurts me to this day. <laughs> like, I'll, it's, Gosh. it's just one I'll never forget. I'll never forget reading it either because I, I went into it completely blind from that cover with the mask. And I just picked it up in my library. Speaking of, I just picked it up in my library. I'd never heard of it. I was like, oh, it's by Lion Forge. Yeah. I didn't even I don't even think I knew Lion Forge then. I was just like, oh, I don't know who that is. Okay. Oh my gosh. And I started reading it one it was at night too. <laughs> and if you guys read it, it's creepy. Gosh. So you know, at least any any description yeah. of upgrade school is a spoiler. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that is, that's how people get inducted in the cult. You're not wrong. <laughs> Well, well, and, you know, think about it, because, like, that, it caught up with us, you know, enough that we picked up Bottom Feeders because of Upgrade Soul. So when Bottom Feeders came out, his new book, we're like, of course. Oh, anything by Ezra Clayton Daniels now, I will yeah. blindly pick up. I don't want to know about it. I'm just going to go and do it. Because... Yeah, and I have, I have a lot of, like, people, you know, that I've, folks I've read, and some of them, again, library pick up some of them, right? And now I'm diehard fans of it. Stefan's one. He's in. He's in the chat. What's up? <laughs> I'll never <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. He yeah, watched the show. Yeah, he, he's our friend. It's fine. <laughs> also, by the way, Stefan, because I'm such a big fan, a, a, a viewer of mine sent me like so many framed sunstone pictures from their calendar. <laughs> I have so many. That's awesome. I'm like, where am I gonna put them? I guess with all the other like scantily clad women on my wall. Please, nobody tell my mom. Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hide this room from her. My parents watch every one of these videos, so they know, but... My mom does not know. You're Whenever on, she comes in here, she'll see. I've got my, my sunstone calendar up <laughs> right there. <laughs> my nice February one. Um, more books. Yeah. Um, going on, you know, more DC ink. I picked up... Uh, Batman Nightwalker, the graphic novel, because I figured I should. I am very tired of Batman, though. I'm a little. I think everyone I'm a little, gets that I'm way a little oversaturated, right? but I still want to. I want to do my. I want to still read all the DC. That calendar turned out to be surprisingly multifunctional. Yeah, and they, I, honestly, they they look very good framed. They worked out very well. Yeah, Maddie and I hung out that day. You got it at, at Second and Charles. <laughs> It, I mean, I love like a good long calendar. Like I don't see those a oh, lot. Yeah. And then they can be made into art pieces. That's really cool. It's so nice. 
and I had fun carrying that around. <laughs> <laughs> the whole like store, me. yeah. Ellie's like, I know, we're going to get it. I'm like, look. <laughs> um, I picked up PTSD. You read this one, right? I did. I liked it. it. Right. I thought it. I thought it needed to deal with PTSD more, but I liked it. And I remember you saying that. I was like, well, I still want to check it out. Oh, yeah. So. It's still worth your time. Yeah, I liked it. And cool use the of art armor, great, by too. the way. Yeah, love. the die cut cover is awesome. Uh, I love the art in that. Man, love it. Oh man, speaking of really good, uh, somebody mentioned earlier dust jackets. So, uh, was it Freddie that mentioned Harleen's dust jacket? Oh yeah. You know, I have a Listen, question about that. Kevin, we're not. We are not dust jacket fans here. No, but it's nice. We are anti dust jackets. That one's sexy though. I actually, again, we're, we're doing Halls and Reads this Sunday, so I keep bringing up things I've read. I read Harleen the other day. Yeah. I got it from my library. Um, so the dust jacket was like on it, but I could tell it comes the way it comes off. The back of it, I wish I had the book next to me. Oh. They put like a piece of paper to like block out some of the back. I'm like, is there something naughty on oh. the back? Like I'm very, oh. I'm confused why they decided to do that. Why is it on my shelf? I, I meant to ask you that, Maddie, because I was like so confused. I reorganized my shelf, and now I don't know where anything is. Oh, here it is. It's under my stack of red song at a review. No, it's not naughty. I is mean, the same thing naughty? No. No, it's she. It's like a normal ass book. That's so weird. They put like a big old piece of paper like under it. Maybe someone just made a mistake. I don't know. Oh, that could be. But man, I. You're going to have to buy this because I need you to see how sexy this cover. Like, look at that. I, it's really cool. Yeah, the clear. It's a, I mean, it, oh. it's so nice. The, it, and it opened just flat the whole time. It yeah, was very it's nice. Good. Very nice hardcover. I like that. Hey, I just have a couple more things. I know. I've had so many books. <laughs> um, so I did, I, I glossed over this, but I picked up the other last pick book. Oh, okay. I think it's like two or three. Um, I picked up Dear Justice League. Nice. <laughs> Look how adorable that is. Yeah, that looks really cute. Oh my god. Adorable. Very cute cartoony art. Love it. Like, look at my girl. My number one. <laughs> Love her. Um, I'm excited. Um, and my last pick, so many books I've got to read, but I'm excited because I'll be at D2E2, so I'm going to have like I have some downtime on the way there and back to read some stuff. I picked up uh, Pashmina. Oh, yeah. I've never read, but I've seen this cover around a lot. And so I really wanted to pick it up. And now I have. So that's my library haul. So soon I'll be having reviews. Hopefully both of us will. Perfect. Yeah. I love um, that. Let's talk about our schedule for the month because oh, we yeah. made one we made yeah. one yeah so we so, have four shows in march and the first one will be recent the, reason halls probably just mostly yeah. halls yeah reason hall is the first which is this sunday this sunday so post c2e2 hopefully i'll have bought something i will you'll have something i have no impulse control <laughs> um and then the second Sunday, we are doing. I thought you had this in front of you. You know, I, I, I didn't. <laughs> you acted like you did. Hold on, I'll, I'll open the message. We just open up our conversation. <laughs> yeah, we have a conversation in here. We're professionals. Okay. Um, yeah, the eighth, we're gonna do our favorite comic covers. So that's not only variants because some non variants I adore that I've oh, received. Yeah. And that, that comes down to Maddie and I don't buy tons of floppies or anything, but we love framing comics and putting them on the wall. Oh yeah. So we, using them as art because they are. Um, so we're going to show you some of our favorite covers. We're going to do, we're probably going to have a crap ton because we're going to fill a whole hour with that. And I have plenty to show. So oh, yeah, it'll be good. So that'll be um, fun. And then the 15th, we're going to do, basically the idea started with, um, uh, Kristen just bought the, the new like Sailor Moon Eternal edition, volume one. So she's never read Sailor Moon before. So we're going to read and review that. 
Um, and since you've got card capture Sakura, I think we're going to throw that in and maybe we'll do, we could throw in a couple more volume ones of like a shoujo manga. I think yeah. Be- Cause I only got volume one of uh, sailor moon. So we can kind of dabble in. So if you guys want to join us in our dabbling of the, I mean, not dabbling for you guys, <laughs> but for me, it is. Um, fun. And we're going to invite Tina. Who's on near my condition with me. She's a big shoujo manga fan. Um, and I may, I'll see what other like recommendations she has for you. She, she'll probably recommend Magic Knight Rare, which wouldn't be a bad idea since it's had a recent uh, re-release. Mm. Um, another one that would be good that I haven't read, but I would like to, that, had, that also had a re-release recently is Rose of Versailles. I'd really be interested in reading the first volume. I saw that and I was curious about it. Yeah, because it's, it's one of like the, I said it before in the show, but it's the inspiration for a lot of like Yuri anime that followed. Hmm. Um, and I have a pachinko machine in my room for that. Um, like, I don't know, people really do cite that a lot as being like one of the first, like, I don't know, lesbian icons basically in Japanese manga. Before that was, uh, I don't know if it's called princess Knight or something, but by, uh, I'm going to say his name wrong. The guy did Astro boy Tezuka. Oh yeah, yeah, Osama Tezuka. Yeah. yeah, he did like a Princess Knight thing. I think she's another kind of like icon. Um, all those like I'm a lady and I want to be a knight deal. It's like that, and then you know Oscar from Rose of Versailles, and then Utsuna, and then we can throw in Sailor Uranus in there too. Um, yeah. So yeah, sorry. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys have thoughts to throw in there, you can let us know in the comments too. Yeah, make some suggestions. Um, yeah, Hayden said <laughs> Mag- Magical Girl episode. Yeah, <laughs> basically. I think, you know, a lot of Magical Girl uh, manga from that time period, uh, there's a lot to those, luckily. I think people, when they see Magical Girl anime and stuff now, it seems like it's very surface level. But things like Card Captor Sakura and Sailor Moon, they had so much depth and so much going on, and a lot of mature content. That you would not have realized. Would you say all that? And it's like, realize. as someone who hasn't seen it or read it, I'm like, yeah, that's kind of what I think I assume. I'm just not knowing, right? Yeah. Not like blowing it off, but just like not having a clue anything about it, right? Man, so I'm so excited. Fun. Now I just, I want, I want a weekend with you because I also want to show you like Madoka Magica. I don't know if you've heard anything and I never look anything up. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a magical girl. It's an upgrade soul moment. I want to show you. Also, most magical girl animes are pretty gay, which is interesting. Um, I like it. Yeah. (laughs) And then we'll finish off the month with uh, Buffyverse volume or part three. (laughs) (laughs) Part three, uh, the four volumes that are library editions of Buffy season eight. We're finally in the seasons. I'm very excited. We're doing it. It's going to be good. Um, so if you guys, you know, if you happen to have the library editions or the trades, they're all out of print now. I don't know if the trades are easy to find. I think some of the trades are real out of print too. Like hard, yeah, I don't know. like too many dollars. Um, but Comixology Unlimited, I think, has some of them. If Unlimited doesn't, you can always buy it digitally, of course. And, and again, it's possible it. that these may get reprinted by Boom. You know, I, I I could see them eventually so. going that route. And it would be a good moneymaker idea for them anyways, because they're doing yeah. those legacies. I feel like the next thing to do would be to reprint these. Especially they come out with a library edition for season 11. I mean, what about all the people that did miss, miss season eight? What about yeah. the people who probably picked up the new Boom series and was like, wait, I've never even really experienced Buffy before. I wasn't alive in the 90s, maybe. And yeah. then they jump into it and they're like, oh, wait, where are all the other library editions? I feel like that's going to be a target audience of money that they're going to oh, want. Yeah. So, plus they can uh, release all their highlighter yellow spines, I guess. <laughs> what is Boom. happening with that spine? I'm not over it. <laughs> you know what's <laughs> funny? By the way, if you go to, I still haven't really looked through my season 11. I'm just like, I'm glad to own it, whatever. If you go to the Amazon listing for this book and look through reviews, every review is trashing how they did the book inside, which is very disappointing. Really? They don't, they don't have cover breaks Oh, between the issues. They don't have any covers in it. One. 
Which is what? a disgrace because the covers are gorgeous for. No, not even okay. like the heck. Apparently not. You know what? I kind of want to. I haven't even opened mine still. I kind of want to. I'm going to open it right now and I'm going to look. But I okay. hear that there's not one. There's a ribbon, no. which I didn't even notice. Great. <gasps> okay. Not boom. So glad there's a ribbon. But I hear there's no covers throughout the whole thing, and there's definitely no covers throughout the issue. There's no break in in the issue, which is. That I agree. The the constant review was like, this is a horrible reading experience. And I'm like, yeah, that kind of sucks. Like, like, comics are issues for a reason. Like, what do we do? Oh, man. So, opening it up. Here we go, guys. Everything. Now I'm going to check my Angel 20th anniversary. Okay, why can't we got this spine? This is a better color. Oh. Right? So that's a well. good... It's like a you don't even you don't even need that dust jacket then. No. How's all the info on the side? Oh, that's nice too. All right, so yeah, I'm glancing through. Yeah, there's definitely not cover breaks, which is infuriating. Um, let's um, see the back. Yeah, no covers in the back. Nothing in the back. Nothing in the back at all. What is happening? I agree. That's that's ridiculous. Ooh, uh, looks like okay. I'm checking Angel now. Angel has covers in the back. Yeah, but Angel was in a library edition. That's true. But I mean, this is a, like a deluxe <laughs> hardcover. Why don't we have covers anywhere in this? That's crazy. I'm so sad. There's so many good covers for Buffy. Well, and I would be like, oh, maybe it was like a copyright thing. No, because this this is a cover, and it's the so is it, like what the. But especially reading it like that, not having. Any indication that you're in another issue? That's, yeah, that's, that's hard. Hurts my head. Yeah, because they're, they're definitely very separate. Yeah, wow. Okay. That's a thing, guys. I hate that. That's annoying. I'm glad they did it. Still happy to have it, but all right. Mm -hmm. That's an outrage. I agree, Freddie. That is an outrage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need a moment to breathe between. I agree. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly like that. And especially if you're like me, okay? If I can't plow through a book, I want a chapter break, mm -hmm. 100%. I want an issue break or a chapter break, and I want to know when that is, obviously. Plus, again, it's a chance to show off the beautiful covers. That season had beautiful covers. Oh, yeah, there's so many wonderful variants and things, too. Yeah, tons. Tons of... It's a deluxe book, guys. A lot of people on Amazon were saying, oh, I think this was rushed out so they could, like, capitalize on... But why not just take a little more time? Maybe not make it highlight or yellow. Okay. <laughs> what do I know? But... Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. I, I, and I... We are saying that as fans because we're still excited to have this book. Yeah, yeah, totally. We're, we're nitpicking because there's something nitpicking. <laughs> but, um... At least we have a library edition. I was counting my blessings. And a... There's a ribbon in there. I mean, guys, every Love hardcover, ribbons. every deluxe hardcover needs a ribbon. I don't know why we're not doing this. They're so Who sad. decide? Oh. I mean, okay, and let's talk about the ribbon in Harrow County, the reason we even started this episode. Guys, it's thick. I don't, that is a thick ribbon. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was thinking about my other library editions. I don't think they're this thick. This no, is a no, nice no. ribbon. Thick ribbon, and it's a soft book. Yeah, I mean, my cat did Buffy loved they chewing did on this right. thick ribbon. <laughs> 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 they did it right. And it's like, I, I, I look, we're we're really going in here, but we like a good quality book. It's and, true. Uh, this is a good quality book. <laughs> well, boom, boom, step up your game next time. That's all I'm saying. Season oh, 12, yeah. library, better have some covers in it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they'll do another a different, like, solid color on that one? Oh. Now that I know it, it looks like that under the cover, or under, like, the dust jacket, I think I'll take off the dust jacket. Hey, why not? Dangerous? Yeah, we will do it. I still I still want, like, a t-shirt. I want, like, a Fangirls Assemble t-shirt that's, like, team no dust jackets. Oh, my gosh. Please. That that's is... Us. I don't mean to bring it up Harley, but that is a good thing about that book, too, because it looks great without a dust jacket. If you really wanted to do it, and just like all the like all the Marvel books and the new DC deluxes, like gorgeous beneath the heart or beneath the dust jacket, we're gonna do a show <laughs> eventually where we just talk about what books look best naked. Ooh, I uh, like that. Yeah, 
I like that. We love I was put no naked, like, in all caps in the title so people watch it. Yeah, they're going to be like, what? <laughs> we get the creep us in the comment, comments. Yeah. Like, wait, the books are naked? Yeah. That's how this we like it. This is bullshit. Hear two ladies talk about comic books. With all the clothes on. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I like your guy voice. <laughs> yeah, people don't talk like that. And honestly, I usually everybody that we have in, like, comments are usually pretty cool. It's very rare that yeah. I get a weirdo. I think one time when I was doing the um, uh, my comic book room tour, one guy was like, when you watch the video, then you find out she's like not single and turn it off. I'm like, uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, that's dumb. That's what that is. What did you think was going to happen, bro? We've only had like, well, there's been a few comments that we've had on these videos. That, that, guy. that aren't like like creepy like that, but are just like really rude stuff. We had one recently we had to talk about. Oh. Remember that? <laughs> we won't we won't talk about what it said, but we were just like, that's just rude. <laughs> so we're gonna delete it. <laughs> and it made us feel good. So well, at least nobody asked us about our feet. That's that true. Happen once. It's only the Faria, bless her heart. But... <laughs> that is true. I forgot about that. <laughs> Uh, Freddie's asking how Hero County smells. All right. <laughs> He's asking the important questions here. It's fine. It's not weird. I think he's asking that because, um, what was it? The, the recent TKO books all smelled weirdly. They did like, all smell a certain way. Like, like ink. It wasn't even bad. It was just like a strong yeah. smell. It, it still weirds me out. I've never smelled a book that smelled like that. It's weird. When are we going to do like an ASMR channel where we just like... <laughs> <laughs> Flip through like book pages, feel them, yeah, smell them. <laughs> Take off dust jackets slowly. <laughs> 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 Not like that, just like it makes a noise, right? Someone's about that. Yes. You know, absolutely. That Someone just hit the thing. like button for us. They were like, that's my jam. <laughs> yeah, we can make a lot more money. We don't make any money. Yeah. Also, guys, super we chats don't. don't go to us. So actually, you know what? We should talk about this. Um, we really appreciate last time. I think several people well, gave super us super sweet. chats. Very, very sweet. We do oh, not yeah. get that money. <laughs> so that, just save, that goes... your, save your money and just we're, we're happy to have yeah. you. Yeah, we appreciate it. We'll, yeah. we'll see your comment. We'll talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to highlight it in money <laughs> that we don't get. But... So I'll be at C2E2 this weekend. Kristen. Do you have any requests? Also, people in the chat, if you're going to be at C2E2, holla at you, girl. <laughs> I've never said holla at you, girl, in my life. It sounded real weird out of your mouth. <laughs> holla at you, girl. Holla at you, girl. Oh, <laughs> I still remember when DC sent me some shiny variants for my Justice League Odyssey, and my entire apartment smelled <laughs> like some weird chemicals. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe some weird Thanks, chemicals. DC. It's definitely, like... It definitely smelled weird. It smelled really weird. They probably still do. I, I'm not within Is reach. It of the it. Oh, you know, I don't know if my TKO book still smells. You know what? Actually, I can reach it. Let me grab one. Yeah, I can reach one. Okay, here we go. Man. They still smell. <laughs> really? Man, those books are yeah. so beautiful. I can't get over how beautiful That's so smell. weird. I'm doing this again. So I think someone commented and they were like, we're over the smelling. I'm like, listen. Oh, yeah, because we got to go like, stop smelling the books. Yeah, like you mentioned it a hundred times. I'm like, I guess. Guys, but you know, watching this show, we're rubbing these books off our face. It, we're, come on. You it's know. what happens. We're weirdos. I'm 100% asking because like, George K. book had a tor horrible smell. It was strange, but I like the TK smell. All they didn't used to have covers on the paperbacks, but second wave. Mm. And today's episode of Sniffing Comics. This is not new. <laughs> I want, I mean, you should know that we are very well known for rubbing <laughs> books on our faces if they're soft. We talk about this kind of thing a lot. We, we care about book textures and we care about how they look and especially how they open and read. It's we a love a good thing. book that'll open up and you know, be nice. It's a little thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the bangs I have still smells, but Dr. Fang from the first wave does it. I tested it last week. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you tested it. Now I'm doing it. I it love just, you yeah, this still so smells. Much. Like, it's, I, I don't know how to describe it, guys, but pick up a TKO second wave book and they're going to smell weird. I remember any of those absolute Alex Rocks but books like Justice have a strong paint smell coming out of the plastic. Mm. Weird. Again, I love you guys. Y'all, y'all just joined into that. I love, I love the so story, stories about it. 
At least my wife and I live for this. The smell of good, yes. books. That's good stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Like an old an old book too. That's good. So Harleen smells good. All right, good. Or spy. Except for the DC shiny stuff. No for that. <laughs> it's good to know. It's, it, you know what? I think it is good to know. It's something we want to talk about because some people have like an aversion to certain smells yeah. or anything that has a strong smell. Don't. I mean, you. Sorry, don't pick up these books. They smell weird. Listen, it's weird. There's a lot that goes into book reviews. It's not just about. Yeah. What's in there? What's the book look like? What's it feel like? What's it smell like? It's a visceral experience. Here's the thing. I don't. We're not just saying that because we do it. I don't think people do that enough. Because when I'm looking up a book, like especially a fancy hardcover or whatever, I want to know everything about it. Some people don't turn to the spine. What are you doing? Show me the spine. Like, I need to know. I want to see how thick that book yeah. is. Yeah. Like, when I, man, like those first second books, all the, all of those like graphic novels of trades. Beautiful. They're fake as hell, and they look yeah. really good at works. <laughs> yeah, and I want to know. Show me beside other books what it looks like. <laughs> Compare the sizes. What are we doing? Guinness. Yay! I we mentioned were, in the beginning. I was like, you much. talked about a Wednesday show. Sabrina Cult Edition smells like Second Chances. <laughs> I don't think it does, Hayden. <laughs> second Chances, it doesn't deserve. <laughs> we're not talking I don't know. about the chilling adventures of Sabrina. We could here. try it again. I just feel like it won't be a no, fun video. I can't. I can't. No. You know me. I am very positive about most books. I cannot Same. touch them again. Yeah, I can't do it again either. Oh, yeah. Frey says, yeah. And compare sizes. Yeah. Tell me if oversized or a liar. I mean, standard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> liar. I want to know the whole funny. thing. You know, I want to know all about it. So, C2E2. Who do I need yeah. to go check out for you, Kristen? I think we can talk about it on air. Okay, we can. Um, so there's one person I would love for you to check out for me if you're near her. That is uh, Kat Lay, I think you say her last name. She yeah. did Snapdragon, mm -hmm. which I adored and I don't own. So I don't know what else she's going to have there. I'd kind of like to give her all my money. Um, okay. Yeah, maybe you can uh, snap a pic and send it to me or something. I don't know. Or that could be too complicated. If it is, I'd at least love Snapdragon signed by her for me. That would be great. Yeah. Um, and I'll PayPal you. The other one, Daniel Warren Johnson, who did Murder Falcon. This one is specifically for Reed, which okay. I haven't even told him about yet. But he does these, like, he only brings them to cons. And it's called yeah. Old Man Skywalker. And, oh. he, and he does, like, all these, like, I guess they're, like, I don't even know much about it. I just know Reed really wanted one real bad. And it was never online. Okay. So I think it's, like, a little mini comic he does. Um, and Reed loves him so much. So, I'll yeah, if, if you're near them, if you don't want to go out of the way, no, that's not I a do. deal. All but, I do is I hang around. When I go to see TV, too, I go to, like, I spend all my time down, like, around the comic book creator area and, like, artist alley. And then a little bit in the, like, role-playing game part. And then that's it. That's all I do. Perfect. So that's my plan. Well, uh, I'll be on call for PayPal or I can throw stuff at you beforehand. Whatever you want. But I really appreciate uh, it. Yeah. And if I don't know if you guys are going to be at C2E2, but if there's any, or if you looked and who like oh, it's on the list and there's somebody you want me to go check out and look at, let me know. Um, if there's somebody I need to go, like some books or something I need to go check out or some. Uh, something cool people. happening you need to know about? Yeah, let me know because I, I don't use, last year, like we were there earlier and we had a lot of planning. This year I don't. I'm going to Gail Simone. I'm going to go to Babs Tar. Um, that's most of my plan. Oh, Clay Man's going to be there, so I want to go see him. I He draws handsome men, and I heard he's real handsome, I guess. So <laughs> so you have to. Yeah, I, I'd like to see if he has any, like, uh, booster gold prints and stuff. He does, draw, nice. he does draw, like, them very well. <laughs> he's very good at drawing men. Um, Maddie, are you going to Gen Con again this year? I am. Um, it'll I'll only be there on Saturday. Um, but I'll be there all day, just hanging out. So, is that in March? Uh, it's in August. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's later. I, I thought it was coming up because someone talked about it. So, gotcha. I've I'll wanted to there. go. I've never been. Oh my god, it's so much fun! It's not far from you too. No, it's not. Uh, and there's always publishers there. I yeah, it's that. great because like um, Kyle was there last year. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I guess Oni Press had a booth. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, T Dragon Girl. 
Oh, Katie O'Neill, she was there? No. Oh. But <laughs> you got you got the game. I got the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Um, cool. It's so much fun. And we only go for a day, usually on Saturday, but we're there the whole time. It's so worth it. It's so much fun. There's so many good board games to like test out. Um, and I'm big, I'm big into D and D, so for me that's great. Um, and Final Fantasy card game is fun. So, Shep, and I know that you're into Final Fantasy, right? Like 14. You should play the card game. Um, I just canceled my season 11 pre-order. I'll probably re-pre-order it tomorrow because I have no willpower. Are you just mad about the cover breaks? Because, like, it is annoying, and I get it. it hey, you all, know you want it, though. It, but it is, it's still beautiful. But, they just should have done that easy thing they didn't do. I, yeah, it's, it's still worth it, I think. Yeah. We nitpick. It's worth it. Yeah. Also, we like to just, you know. <laughs> we're, I mean, you know, I, I just think if you can do it with worse. your trades, why aren't you doing it with your nice deluxe hardcover? But okay. Um, July, August. Yes, that's okay. Oh, okay, cool. Joe, you know, if you're going to be there, say hey. Hang out, play a game with me. Play some uh, DC Rebirth. Yeah, I, I need like, any more stuff to play. Sorry. I only like, five different <laughs> MMOs. That's too many MMOs. Just do yeah, that's, that's a lot. I, I, get, I get it, though. Like, I'm on 14, and that's the only MMO I have time for. And I have been too busy to play it lately. And all my friends are like caught up that I am not. Um, I don't know about C2E2, but Dark Arc by Bun and Juan Doe deserves to be checked out by you, Maddie, but for sure after that giant, scary, cute books deck. Okay, Dark Arc. Maybe I've heard good things about that one, yeah. I trust you, Freddy. You have good taste. <laughs> don't judge me, I can go anytime I want. I don't know. I love you that. haven't given me any confidence. <laughs> I want to know what they are now. What else do you play? What is fire? It, uh, you know, I'm trying to think of other games. Like I forgot what other MMOs there are. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> um, World of Warcraft. I don't know what other games there are. I just play 14. That's the only one I'm allowed to play. I'll be there all four days. Yay! Ruby, what up? Are we talking hey, about Jay Buffy? We talked about Harold Kane Library Edition Volume One. Uh, and we complained alert. about Buffy. We loved it. We then did. we talked about what books picked up in the library, and then we got on tangents. That's right. One of them was about Library Edition Season Eleven of Buffy. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be over it. I think we'll really experience how it feels though when we read it, and then we'll be like, "Where are the covers?" <laughs> When we're like, it's months from now, we finally get to season 11. Yeah, right. <laughs> At least I'll it's be like... proud of us when we make it through, though. Oh, yeah. But then it's we'll shorter. have to choose another thing to like read from month to month. Um, I mean, we talked about this, but eventually I am going to pick up One Piece. So <gasps> Eventually. Man. It is sitting That's near. a dream. Oh, we could go through like Pluto? That's Ooh, yeah. Well, I would really like That'd to. Be See, I need, I need someone to push me to read through all the Urasawa books I have. Oh, yeah. Because I, I, I watched all of Monster, mm, you know, mm. one of my favorite anime of all time. Um, I've watched all the live action movies for 20th Century Boys, favorite Japanese movie all of all time. Still have not read the books, even though I own them all. Well, not, I mean, all, I own all of Monster and not all of 20th Century Boys yet. We should do that. We should do that with all of the series one because I love Monster so much. I'm in. Uh, I have all of Pluto, which I like hauled like months ago, and I've still not read it. So that'll that could be our okay. reason. Also, it's um, let's see, it's four. It's like six volumes. Oh, we do that. Oh no, it's eight. <laughs> Why can't I read? <laughs> I think Reed took one, so it confused me. I think there's eight. Um, so that would be that's pretty accessible, you know. Okay. Uh, then we should also do Kurosagi. Because that's coming out next month. Yes. That's been my dream since, like, it was first coming out when I was way too young to read it. Just to finally read it all. I'm so excited. I cannot believe I'm living in a time where they're getting re-released as deluxes. Like, Well, and they're actually finishing it. I mean, that's I that's what blows my mind. I, I Like, I got the four omnibus forever ago, I feel like. 
and they're finally like, yeah, we'll I'm, finish that. It's like, wait, what? That never happens. I'm right? so happy. That's pretty great. So you play Guild Wars 2, yeah. Final Fantasy 14, Destiny 2, War yeah. That's fine. I don't know how you do it. I'm only 14, but granted, I play a lot of like single player games. Playing through all the Final Fantasies right now. We're on 10 2, we're almost there. Uh, Chris, you have the box set, right? The first one. Yeah, I got the first one, uh, which has up to volume 23. And I guess that's a certain arc, I think, right? I don't know, yeah. It's called something. Um, so that's fun. Eventually, I my fear is I'm going to read through those, and then I'm going to be like, I feel like I got to buy two more box sets. <laughs> like, yeah, throw like, my money see, in the I'm toilet. I'm tempted when we do the read through to not start you at the beginning and start you where I started when I first got into One Piece. But I have the beginning. I know, <laughs> but I'm worried I it won't catch it. you, and I'm going to want to start you where I started because I tried One Piece several times, um, and it didn't work for me. Until the guy I was dating at the time started me at the Water Seven arc, and that changed everything. And now I'm obsessed. Is that the second arc? No, no, it's, it's even later. But it's when basically everyone's there. Um, so they have most of the crew, but it's when they finally recruit Frankie. So they already have Robin. They have like the regular crew you see. So everyone's there except for um, Brooke and Frankie, and. Spoiler alert, the, the final member. Um, <laughs> it's so good. It, it's just a ton of backstory. It's very like emotional. It's really good. Um, one piece of serious bucket list material. You would love it. I'm just going to tell you right now. It's very good. One of those things you know is probably awesome, but so much of it. Yeah. I need to do another episode of like how to get into One Piece. I used to do panels on how to make it like approachable. Because it's very good, but it doesn't mean that it, it, it'll it depend on what's the best way for people to get into it. It, it, it differs. What's good about the manga, at least, is um, the Shonen Jump app has yes. all of it. So it is way more accessible financially yeah. for a lot of people. It's $2 a month for that app, which is amazing. Oh, yeah. So I don't know. I guess I can read through my physical copies and then go there. But I just feel like I'm going to need it at that point. <laughs> like, I know. Gonna... Well, I've been, I've been meaning to, like, that's the one manga... I say the one you want to own. collect. There's a lot I want to collect. But as far as like uh, a big series ongoing, for you. ongoing. Yeah. Yeah, it would be one piece. Um say one see the anime Chobits. I have. That was real popular back in the day. Um Good Night Poopin is very powerful as well. I would love for us to go through and read that. We should, because I have it all. <laughs> I got a lot of it. I got a lot of it dirt cheap, and I read the first volume, and it hurt me a little. And so I'm gonna read the rest. But I think I've yeah. only read maybe the first two, and that was like way back when it was first coming out. I guess um, I think I read it online. That's also really accessible because it's not that many volumes either. Uh, Drew asked, "Do you have the entire run of the Sweet Code and Free manga?" I don't. I only have uh, one, two, three, and five. I've been looking for the rest. And I know I can just go ahead and buy it, but I always kind of hope I'm going to run into it. It's sometimes half price books will pop up. But I need to get it before it's too late. Because I'm a huge Series Code 3 fan. Oh, no, Candace, you're fine. Oh, no, yeah. That's We're probably talking. us being, that's me being confused by the time zones in the last episode. Um, love the Series Code games, two or three of the best. I agree. You have very good taste. Um, keep an eye out in September when Su uh, Sui Code Day will come again. There's a big international Sui Con in the Philippines that I wish I could go to. <laughs> um, but I'm a big fan. I'll talk Sui Code all day, any day. I have a collection. You can't see it. it's over there, but I collect a lot of Sui Code. <laughs> I haven't played a video game since the late '90s. I just bought Xbox One X. Things have changed. That's what I bring. Oh yeah, from there. I think the Alabasta arc would get Kristen. Yeah, I think so. I'm still I'm still pushing Water Seven, but I think, man, there's some really goofy characters that she's gonna love. She's gonna love Brooke. Brooke's gonna get her. Is this a prediction? Yes. Yeah, so right Brooke is everybody. Everybody. Um. Um. 
Comey Can't Communicate has only five volumes out so far. Funny, accessible with a lot to say. I oh. have put volume one on hold in my library, so yeah. I intend to read that. Um, but yeah, we should also read like A Silent Voice, which I love. That's yes, only, please. That's I only would like to. Yeah, we should do that. I loved it. I still play Studio Code 5, but it's hard to find. It is. It hasn't been on, they haven't done a digital copy for PlayStation yet. Um, I just keep buying copies when I find it, just in case, like, it just works. <laughs> agreed. Also agreed. Chrono Cross. The theme makes me cry every time I hear it. Yeah, sorry, Chris. I just don't understand it. <laughs> I'm here. It's fine. I'm happy yeah. you like things. I just don't know what it means. I remember both Linda and me playing Suicune 1 and 2 until everyone sees that Final Fantasy Music games are our favorite games. I'm glad you played Stewie Coden. See, it makes me love you more. Stewie Coden's like, my my fiance, there's two things he did to woo me. One, read all of One Piece. Two, he played Stewie Coden 1 and 2. That so is the my, way to woo women. By that's the way. my ride or die. You know, I love it. I wouldn't it. say and, women, anyone. That's the way to woo anyone. Yeah. Thing. I was like, you, I literally, we can't be together if you don't watch Buffy with me because he hadn't yeah. watched any Buffy. And he did. And so there we go. Elliot already had these. Perfect. You know, and we love the Titans. Oh, Shepard, I need to tell you that I, like, before I read any of the rest of your stuff, I had found your Donna Troy fan art online. You had on DeviantArt. And I just, I love it. I need you to know that because she's my favorite. And if you ever wanted to make a print of it, just let me, just let me know. <laughs> Um, credit where credit is due. Everything I've mentioned, 90% of what I'm currently following is a Geo recommendation. Geo's got it. Geo's got a wonderful taste. Geo knows what's up, for sure. Oh, yeah. And he's just a wonderful person. You know? He's a nice guy. Oh, Frank said, and lend you the Buffy library editions, right? That's a big movie. Yeah. Yeah. I think they were out of print, maybe. And uh, I don't know if I was that responsible <laughs> with those. So. It's still a big, like, I don't know about lending my library editions to anyone. You know what I mean? And the, it's the dust jackets, too, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I definitely fucked up someone's dust jackets. <laughs> but now we, what's mine is his, his yeah, mine. Yeah, These are my works. works. <laughs> that's fine. Um, okay. A couple more questions, and then we'll head out, because I have an eight Oh, yeah. I have an eight either. Love Xenosaga, for sure. Are you getting a pizza? Is that does that decide it? I think he's <laughs> from earlier. Something. Good. Um hey, so you through one a few years back where I got I had eight stars of Destiny and stayed the main character best friend. Congrats. If you guys have, have heard of First Second Publishing. Oh girl. 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 Girl, it's only our favorite publisher. Ghost yeah. Twin, um, yeah, that is on my radar as well. Yeah. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make my library buy it because they haven't yet. <laughs> I've been yeah, waiting. So we're on looking, it. We were looking for books to pick so we can pick a book of the month on in stock trades. And that was one of my options. Mm -hmm. Um, because Ghost Twin does look really good and you know that we'll read anything for a second. Um but my choice, again, don't get your hopes up because maybe something will change, right? Sure. Maybe they can't get it, but um, I'm going with Heavy Vi Vinyl Volume 2. We loved Heavy Vinyl, the first one. We both loved it so much. So excited it's coming back. Man. So ready. I've been reading that ever since it was High Fly Fight Club. And yeah, I right? Me too. <sighs> so that was like, again, like that's when I was first getting into comic books. And so I bought those floppies because I like the art. And I've just been like, yes, finally. That's so I, I love that, like, because Hi Fi Fly Gub came out as floppies. Mm -hmm. Then it was heavy vinyl when it went to the trades. Because yeah. of the Fight Club uh, copyright, I guess. Yeah. And then heavy vinyl volume two is going straight to trade. So Boom is doing that cool new thing that no other bigger publishers have yeah. attempted yet, which is taking something right to trade that even used to be floppies they're doing it with moonstruck too which i i really enjoy that also started in floppies so that's pretty cool because the trade sales were up more than the floppies i guess well and i think it, it, it definitely goes to show books with that audience right audience that's like us <laughs> right people like us, us. Audience. same with um unstoppable wasp yeah 
the audiences for those books are probably younger, probably like us, our demographic, and they just, they don't want to buy floppies, they want to buy the trades. And it's been the trade sales that have saved those books. And so I hope that that'll kind of teach some people, which, you know, other people have gotten on to that too, right? I mean, obviously other publishers do very well with just straight to trades. I personally like it a lot, also because sometimes there are a lot of limitations with issue by issue, storytelling wise. I, I mean, I get why the model exists, but I think oh, it's yeah. cool to see a publisher that had previously published something in Flowers yeah. being like, okay, we're going to bring it back and it's just going to be a trade. That's, love I that. love that. So I'm hoping to see more of that Me. for series that like we love from, let's say Marvel, just like mm -hmm. you said with Unstoppable Wasp, that were canceled prematurely, but the trade sales did well. Yeah. See. More of that. I want to talk to more like, money people behind comics and ask I just want to like talk I want to talk about that stuff really bad like I love talking to artists and writers but I really want to interview like, like hey can <laughs> Tell we me just how talk works. about how this works I would, I'm very curious about like that part of it, the publishing business side um <laughs> I'm still waiting for Boom to hire Chris and to write a secret world of Alex Mack I'm there I'll totally write it <laughs> I love that oh, anyone good. still knows the series, though. <laughs> like, that's the, that would be the issue. Yeah. Be like, you remember this 90s show? Not a lot of people watch. Here's a comic. Um, graphic novels in general have way more reliable ways uh, for accessing them, making them for more reliable sales. Yeah. I agree. True. I mean, even, you know, we were praising libraries earlier, and that's another thing. Like, all of those sales can only be in graphic novels. And, you know, getting it out there and more accessible to people will only be in that format. It's just not sustainable for me to buy floppies. I do it for art. But then that's it. Um, last thing, and then we're going to go, any interviews at C2E2? No. <laughs> and Maddie's um, excited about it. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I really did enjoy some of the interviews. Some of them made me a little anxious. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go and do like a video walkthrough, um, do like a, a whole video, a classical music video. Um, I just want to go and relax and have fun. I, sometimes there's a lot of pressure. We have to go interview people and I'd rather just have conversations. And Definitely. so I was like, well, you know, conversations with creators make me happy. And I know that's technically what an interview is, but I just kind of want to hang, you know, no pressure. And sometimes I feel like that makes people feel better too. Definitely. Not being, being like, and hey, what did you think? <laughs> you <know? laughs> I say, like, if we have people join us on the show, um, yeah, writers or illustrators or creators, I'd rather just have them hang out and we just talk about books we love together. Uh, that's pretty much what Kyle and us did. We didn't really ask yeah. much. We just, like, talked about stuff. I would love to get, like, a comics you love conversation with some creator. Come on and tell, let's talk about all the comics you love. Let's recommend each other comic books. That's my favorite part of these shows anyway, mm -hmm. which thankfully our shows usually come down to such a thing. Yeah. And I think that's what everyone's here for. They're like, we need books to read. <laughs> Let's talk about them. You say that, because, Maddie, but we all know you'll just grill them about Roy Harper. I'm not, okay. I'm not going to bother Tom King, even though he killed Roy Harper. I'm also going to talk to him. You'll I just really glare like his at him. That's all. I love his work, even though he killed Roy Harper. Should he apologize to me in person? Yes. <laughs> For breaking my heart? Absolutely. I mean, you should meet him just so he can do one of those doodles, though. I, 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 I am going to, because he did meet some of my great. heroes in crisis. With, like, sorry about Roy. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I do appreciate that a lot. That's okay. Roy, Roy's been dead for a long time now. I need to stop crying about it eventually. He'll be back one day. What if they don't hearts. bring him back? Do you think now that Didio's left, they're going to bring Roy back? Yes. I don't, That's I how don't that know. works, right? <laughs> That's how that works. They fire someone. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, Didio, but like, do you think people can bring Roy back now? <laughs> can we have <laughs> Sam back? Just tweet at him. Um, that's Sunday. We'll be there Sunday. We're going to do Halls and Reads on Sunday. And you better be there, Drew. Yep. <laughs> we expect you. All right. 
I'm going to go eat and relax because I've worked very hard this week and so has Kristen. Wow, we, yeah. we've been talked late. Yeah, right? What, what happened? <laughs> it was fun. When we got on, we were like, are we going to talk about this book for an hour? And then here we are. That's what I like, you know? Yeah, thank okay. you for to the chat for interacting with us. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate you being here. This is why we do it. We just... Our wonderful writer, artist, friend, thank you for joining us again. It's very nice. I'll fangirl about this again once we're off the air. Don't worry about it. I, I did read Harleen and that art because i i haven't read anything uh from him before i don't know how you haven't read sunstone yet i've been trying I, to push I, know. I know well i just i don't know i just haven't but i'm just gonna buy you copies that art blew me away really good i had tina borrow mine and she brought it home and she's been married <laughs> her wife for like a bajillion years and her wife was like what is this? whoa <laughs> <laughs> whoa which is great because even like in the comments later when we reviewed it, they were like, "Why are you re reviewing porn?" Tina was the first one to be like, "Excuse me, it's erotica, <laughs> sir. sir. It's erotica." And me being a lesbian and married for like ten plus years, this is accurate, and you can chill. <laughs> Anyways, um, I love you all. I hope you have a good night. Uh, don't forget to buy stuff from InStockTrades.com, our wonderful sponsor. Yes. Where you can get the book we talked about. Um, there are only four volumes of these, and it makes up the whole series, and yeah. they're gorgeous so check out harrow county library editions at instocktrades.com and we will check you out again on sunday see you then i might be dead from uh c2g but hopefully not good night have a good night